You just don't see this kind of playmaker. A guy who basically is a running back with world-class speed and routes and all this other stuff. And if you go all the way back to when he was in Kansas City, when Andy Reid made him the number one receiver, everyone was trying to figure out, what is Andy Reid doing? Andy Reid had great wisdom because he has really unlocked the career of one of the best receivers that we've seen. He can touch the ball three times in a game and you, he'll beat you. Well, that's the thing is that some people are going to say, well, hold on, you have a defense that could double him all the time and take him out of the game if they want to. How in the world does that make you the best player in the NFL? He's still find a way to get him the football. And, oh, by the way, everybody else gets to eat. Jalen Waddle, that run game. Think about the guy who gave him the trophy. How many touchdowns did Raheem Mostert have? And how many of those were aided by the fact that the whole defense is slanted and tilted towards Tyree Kill? So he not only benefits the quarterback, he benefits everyone else around him in that offense. Yeah, Mike McDaniel's done a great job of bringing unique motions and shifts to create one-on-one -on -one opportunities for Tyreek Hill. That exit motion where they go from inside out to allow him to get that running start. It literally is like watching a four-by-one relay team, mm -hmm. someone running through the exchange zones when he gets the ball. This dude is terrific. Look, well deserved for him. He would probably want to run all four legs, by the way. Okay. And, and it wouldn't be a bad thing if you're down there in Miami. Uh, speaking of which, the 